The multiverse theory is the idea that there are many universes, each with different variations of physical laws and constants. It is not a theory of everything, because it only describes physical reality, but not life and consciousness. The traditional view of time is linear. But what if it's circular instead? What if we live in a multiverse, where there are an infinite number of universes that exist on the same timeline, but separately, as parallel realities? The multiverse theory is a concept in physics that states that there are an infinite number of universes. The concept of a multiverse is not new, with terms like the parallel universe and the alternate world used in popular culture for decades. However, most multiverse theories are grounded in science, rather than philosophy, and have become more popular in recent years due to their implications for both quantum physics and string theory. The multiverse is a hypothetical theory that suggests that there are many universes outside of our own, and all of them containing different versions of us. In a multiverse, every possible outcome is played out across different universes. The idea of a multiverse is the theory that our universe is only one of many universes. These other universes may have different physical laws, different constants, or different numbers of dimensions. In essence, it's a single universe with multiple realities we may not be aware of. Scientists can only see so far before they run into the edge of the universe. Will we ever know if anything lies beyond? According to multiverse hypothesis, our universe, which spans tens of billions of light years and contains hundreds of billions of galaxies and virtually innumerable stars, may not be the only one. Instead, there might be a completely distinct universe, far away from ours, and then another, and another. In fact, there might be an infinite number of universes, each with its own set of physical laws, stars and galaxies, and perhaps even intelligent civilizations. It's possible that there are many, many more worlds than simply our own, and that ours is just one of them in a multiverse. What is Stephen Hawking's theory of a multiverse? Scientist Stephen Hawking wrote a study just a few months before he passed away, and it was widely reported that it would definitively prove, or refute the existence of parallel worlds. However, according to a number of physicists who were not involved in Hawking's research, that assertion may be a little bit of cosmic inflation. No claims are made in the report regarding observational studies. It's not entirely dull, but there are literally thousands of theories on what might have happened in the beginning of the universe, many of which include parallel universes. How many multiverse theories are there? Parallel universes are a popular concept. Perhaps the allure of a perfect universe where you have second chances and things turn out differently. A different world where you enroll in Hogwarts, the Star Wars prequels aren't developed, and you finally plug in your asymmetric computer cord right on the first try, has something to do with it. But does science actually have a place for such wistful speculation? You can't have two versions of something if the universe is everything there is, am I right? Terminology is the issue in this case. In casual conversation, Physicists frequently refer to the universe when they truly mean the observable universe. The area of the entire cosmos that we have thus far been able to observe, and it's okay to discuss various different visible universes. Aliens that are close to the edge of our observable universe, for instance, will be able to observe portions of the entire universe that we are currently unable to see since the light has not yet had time to reach us. But that is a well-known question, and when physicists discuss numerous observable universes or multiverses, they often do not refer to them. So let's get right to the point. The term, multiverse, in physics typically refers to one of three unique and mostly unrelated physical models of the cosmos. By the way, none of these have ever been verified or tested by experiment. The three multiverse models are as follows. Type 1, bubble universes or baby black hole universes. This is the most straightforward kind of multiverse. The basic idea is that perhaps there are other parts of the universe which are so far away that we will never see them, or are inside black holes, so similarly, we will never see them. This type of model was developed in an effort to provide an explanation for why our universe is so adept at producing stars, galaxies, black holes, and life. According to the logic, if each of these distinct, incomparably opaque bubbles in the universe had slightly different physical laws, then by definition, we could only exist in the one that did. We couldn't be here if the Earth couldn't create, so we must live in a universe where that is possible. Don't worry too much if this reasoning doesn't convince you. Experimental support for this form of multiverse is still lacking. Multiverse type 2, membranes and extra dimensions. 
String theorists proposed the hypothesis that perhaps what we think of as our universe is actually just a three-dimensional surface embedded within a larger super-universe with nine spatial dimensions. This hypothesis was partly motivated by the mathematics of string theory's inability to predict the proper number of dimensions for the universe we observe. Similar to how each newspaper page is a separate, two-dimensional surface that is a part of our three-dimensional reality. There would also be plenty of room for other three-dimensional surfaces that, like newspaper pages, appeared to be independent universes but were actually a part of a larger total if space had nine dimensions as opposed to three. Membranes, or brins for short, are the name given to these kinds of surfaces. And so to be clear, there is currently no experimental support for this type of multiverse. Multiverse type 3. The quantum mechanical theory of multiple universes. The many worlds hypothesis, which claims that every conceivable alternate timeline for the universe is real and that they all occur in an ever larger, ever branching manner. It makes an attempt to explain why physicists still don't fully understand how the collapse of the wave function in quantum mechanics occurs. It's like a pick-your-own-adventure book where every conceivable tale can occur. If this were the case, we might not be aware of it since we would be limited to only one of the many possible lives. Many worlds suggests that perhaps anything that can happen has, and that we simply happen to exist in a chain of happenings that were necessary for us to exist, much like the bubble multiverse model implies. Don't worry if this logic doesn't persuade you. There is currently no experimental support for this type of multiverse. Of course, if you're feeling particularly creative, you could also combine a few of these models into a multi-multiverse, a brand new super speculative model that is founded on speculative and experimentally unproven models. But it doesn't mean we couldn't put these multiverse theories to the test. For instance, if the observable universe were really just a collection of unconnected bubbles or membranes, and if one of those bubbles or membranes happened to collide with our observable universe at some point in the past, that collision would undoubtedly have had an impact on the stars we see when we look up at the night sky. On the other hand, since experimentalists are getting better at manipulating and controlling larger and larger quantum mechanical systems in their labs, systems that straddle the line between the quantum realm and our everyday experience, the many worlds interpretation might be put to the test pretty soon. We must always keep in mind that physics is a branch of science, not philosophy. Additionally, we must develop statements that, in theory, can be tested in order to explain the universe that we perceive. Well, there you have it. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching, and be sure not to miss any new videos.